This is Cat Williams, and remember, the black cat doesn't fall far from the black tree. Cat Williams, first I appreciate you coming down to the studio, man. Thank you. I first interviewed you almost 10 years ago on the carpet for the BET Awards 03. Oh, and I was shorter then. Yeah, 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 you was a little shorter then. You got a growth spurt since then. A bit. I and a career growth spurt for sure. Yes, definitely. How good has your, your journey been? Because we've seen you make cameos in movies and it turned into a great stand-up career. I know you didn't start there, but I mean... How have you felt that journey over just the last, if you just look at the last 10 years, has been for you as a man and as an entertainer? Um, well, I wasn't, um, I didn't know beforehand how well I was going to do, but I wanted to make sure that I gave myself enough opportunity that I could get good if possible. And so 17 movies and seven comedy specials later, I at least feel like if a blessing was to fall out of the sky, a scary movie was to give me an opportunity, like I feel comfortable that I could come on the set no matter who else was there and really deliver. So at the end of the day, that's what I was concerned with, was not, not what it was going to take for me to be a good comedian, but making sure I did it. You know? yeah. When I look at all the great comedic actors, I mean, you got a lot of comedians that are that are that are good at acting and some that are good at stand up. But it's it's, it's not that many that's, that's cross both. I mean, you got Chappelle, you got right. Richard Pryor, one of my favorites, Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Where where do you see yourself in in that strata, and and what type of roles do you think would bring out the most in you as an actor? Acting is such a such a complex art form that. Um, I'm only really able to do it at the level that I'm at because of its um, affiliation with comedy. So I feel comfortable um, acting comedically because I'm aware of where the uh, spots are and I feel comfortable with that genre. Um, the spoof genre was something I wasn't familiar with, so I was excited about being able to do that. But back when I was doing Wildin' Out, it was because of that reason as well, is um, the opportunity to do, to do an improv show, you know? So um, for me, it's about being about the experiences and trying to hold on to the man that I um, hold myself to, hold myself to that while doing the rest of it. And, uh, you know, it's not always pretty, but it's been working.